some of y'all know good and well you want a Mercedes with a certain package. But yeah, you looking over here talking about, man, that BMW two-door coupe was real nice. Knowing you want a four-door car. But see, you like 30 feet away. So you over here lustfully looking at this car saying, oh, that looks nice. But then you get up close and you realize it's a used 2015. And they got all these scratches and dent in the, in the bumper and the fender. You can't see that far away, though. It looked nice far away. But when you got close up to it up in those sheets, that's when you start to see those flaws. And you're like, well, I don't know if I can deal with this. This may be too much for me. This baggage may be too much. I feel like I'm carrying it with them. But yeah, you didn't see all that far away, 30 feet away. You saw it close up two inches away when you were coming in for that kiss. That's when you saw the gap that you can't stand. That's when you when you saw the, the yuck mouth and smelled the bad breath. That's when you saw the truth. But far away, oh yeah, it looked good. Because you didn't have your contacts in, you couldn't see it. You're nearsighted. But you get up close and you start seeing all those details. Some of y'all know that you specifically want a Jeep Gladiator white with red and granite molding. But yeah, you over here looking at this, this Honda Accord because that's what your best friend like. That's what your best friend got, and you like it. You're like, okay, I can see myself and what my best friend has. Stop coveting. Stop coveting what your neighbor has. Just because it looks good with your neighbor and it looks good on your neighbor don't, don't mean it's for you. Doesn't mean it looks good on you. Doesn't mean that you look good in it. Doesn't mean you look good with it. It ain't for you. It's not yours. Stop coveting. You know what you want, so what are you settling for? You know what you want, so what are you lowering the standard for? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why do we do, th why do we do that? Hmm. Huh? Are we hungry or are we thirsty? Do we even know the difference between the two? Do we lack patience? Do we lack fruit of the Holy Spirit? Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, why do we do these things to ourselves? Why do we, why do we see the abuse, but yet we're so hungry and thirsty, we'll settle for it? Hmm. Huh? Can someone answer that for me? Don't don't try. That wasn't a real question. Don't don't try it. Don't try it. But like, it's okay to get what you want. It's okay to wait for what you want. You want a Mercedes with a certain package? It's not gonna come overnight. FedEx at your door the next day, boo boo. It's gonna take some time. You want your car custom made, it's going to take some time. It's not going to be ready the next day. Put that order in, you wait for it. It's not a microwavable car. Custom made vehicles are not microwaves. And I think that's a common problem that a lot of us have. We want everything microwave ready. But it's okay to put something in that slow cooker sometimes too, you know? Let that stuff simmer. Get up all that flavor and get up all in those seasonings. It's okay to eat a whole meal. It's okay to be wholesome and fruitful and abundant. It's okay. It's okay to be prosperous. It's okay to be to be fruitful and multiply. It's okay. It's okay to have these things. But you gotta it's something called faith. And if you ain't got the size of a mustard seed, I, I don't know what to tell you. You better be praying for some patience and, and, some, and asking the Lord to give you strength. So that you can get what you want, he's willing to give it to you. But are you willing to wait and trust him to get it? Y'all like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm willing to, I, I, I'm willing to wait. But while I'm waiting, I want Tyrone, even though I'm playing, I mean, praying for Jimmy. Well, shoot, maybe I'll pray for, for, for Tyrone on the way to Jimmy. What? What you gonna wait? Why are you praying for a heartbreak? Somebody's gonna get hurt in that. You really want, uh, Jimmy? But yeah, you over here wasting your time with. With Tyrone, like, what are you expecting from that? Especially, yeah, uh, you have sex with them. You think it's gonna be easy to just pull away from them and still be friends? Like, I'm just, I'm just asking. Let's say you guys do pull away from each other. Are you gonna be comfortable when they move on? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying, like, can your heart handle stuff like that? Because everybody's heart ain't about those one night stands. Everybody's heart ain't about that. Um, let's just be friends and have sex. Everybody's, everybody's spirit can't handle that. Something called soul ties. 
I don't care what women say. They be like, oh yeah, let's just let's just have um what is it? Let's just be friends with benefits. What is that? As soon as you have sex with them, that's your that's your 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 your, your. <laughs> okay. I, I, oh, that may be too deep. When you become one with someone in the flesh, you're becoming one with them in the spirit. Whether you want to admit it or not, that's going to be your spiritual husband or spiritual wife in the spirit. Y'all believe in soul ties, but yet can you, you want to go deeper? How many wives and husbands you got in the spirit? That's why your spirit's so vexed. That's why you ain't got no peace in your soul. Because you got all these demons you need to be delivered from. Because you got so many spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. So why are you going to add another one to your list? You want Jimmy. You need to wait for Jimmy. You need to wait and trust the Lord. And leave Tyrone behind you. Walk straight past Tyrone. When you see Tyrone, don't even look at him. Look down. Just look down. Keep it moving. He looks too good. Look away. Clarissa, she's too fine. Look away. Think about your wife at home with those beautiful, precious babies you got that both of you guys came together as one and made. Okay? It's not worth it, bro. I love you. God bless. We'll talk about this deeper another day. That's just surface. That's just surface level talk. Okay?